Welcome to the Arsenogen Archives. I am Arsenogen, and today I am going to show you my trick for freeze framing. Again, I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do it, but this is the way I do it. Freeze framing is uh, pretty much where you have a video that plays and then it pauses for some reason, some reason on purpose, and it holds the last frame. And then when you're ready again, it continues playing right where it left off without any sort of break. So. Uh, this is this is how you do it. First of all, you go through and you find the place where you want it to freeze frame, whether you want to say something um, in between there or not. So this is uh, Keynote or Toten on the remastered Zombies Chronicles. Uh, this is some gameplay of the eye candy. Right, so I want to say how it freezes right over here in this corner. I want it to freeze right there. And I can say how the zombies change color. Alright, so right here, I want to freeze it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my keyboard and I'm going to hit the split button, which for me is S. Split, right? And then right here, without moving it, and I want to make sure this preview window is the part that I want to freeze on. So then just somewhere in this area, in this window, it can be on the picture, it can be on the sides here in the preview window, it doesn't matter. You're gonna right click, save snapshot to file. Um, don't mind that, I'm sure we'll just save it there. And it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna throw it over here. So then all you have to do is you have to grab this split section, right, you just move it over you put your image in there where you want it to be. All right, and then if I wanted to do something like this, we'll put in some quick text. Blah, 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 so that would be another one. Turns zombie models green. Whoops, that was green, green, there we go. There. So now let's just watch this through. Just watch it through and see if it's what we want. We want to show what we have here, so boom! Turn zombie models green. Anything else you want to say about it, and then continue. There we go. Alright, so we're going to control that. Make sure that's not selected. Split. Save snapshot to file. Again, save it wherever the heck that wanted to save. Boom. Put the image in here, and bring this back together. We can make this as long or as short as we want. Alright, so... Boom! That is the color that's gonna be there. Blah blah blah. And then we continue. Good! Well, that's it. That's the whole thing. Pretty much all you do is you split it, make sure it's on the frame you want. Right click, save snapshot to file. You have to make sure that you do it in this area though. Uh, in, in like this preview area and then save it somewhere. It'll go ahead and throw it over here in your project media and then you just bring it into the timeline wherever you want. So that's been another one of my tips and tricks for Sony Movie Studio 13.0. I haven't upgraded. I know I'm, I'm way behind with the times, but hopefully, hopefully we can get some money to upgrade and maybe do the same kind of stuff for version 14. But until then, I hope you have a good rest of your day, morning, evening, afternoon, overnight, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I will see you next time.